Hello everyone! Uh, today we are going to go through the insert, update, delete and truncate statements because uh, you've seen a lot of select so far and none of the others. Um, I would always recommend wrapping uh, a transaction around this type of statement if you're working on live data. So the next tutorial will cover transactions and if you make a mistake, which hopefully you won't, um, then you'll be saved by the transaction. So um, I've created a very simple table here to use this tutorial. Um, actually, I will also cover uh, creating tables and other objects at, at some point in this series. Um, but my table here, it's just uh, called demo customers. We've got an ID column, um, which is an identity. Uh, that just means it will increment by one every time we insert into the table. Um, we've got a title, first name, surname, and phone number. So let's start with insert so that we've got some data that we can then update and delete. Um, to insert the data into my table, um, I have written here insert into and then the table name and then I've named the columns that I want to insert the data into. So you may notice that I'm not specifying the ID column there, um, that is because it's an identity and I can't specify um, the number there without setting the identity insert on. Um, I'm also not specifying the phone number column uh, just so that you can see that I only have to specify the column names that I want to insert the data into. Um, and then I write select and the data that I want to insert. So if I run that, you can see here that we've now got one record in the table. So if I wanted to insert multiple records, then I just write a union in between them. We covered that on a previous tutorial. Um, and then I just write another select there. So if I run that, we can see there that we've now got three records in the table. So there's another way that I can actually um, insert into the table here, and that's using the values um, option there, which I would write like this. So I've got, again, insert into the table, uh, sorry, the field names, and then the values that I want to insert. And we can see here that I've now got five records in the table. So now that we've got some data in there, let's uh, update it. So as you can see here, I've now got two Brad Pitts. Lucky me. <laughs> So let's update one of them to be someone else. So here I've got the update statement. So what I'm writing here is update um, the table that I want to update. Um, and then I'm writing set and then the columns that I want to update and what I want to update them to. So you can see here I'm just going to set the first name to be Albert and the surname to be Einstein where ID equals two. So I'm selecting here which row I want to update. So if I run that here, we can see here that that has now been updated there. Now, it's really important that you do remember to add your where clause there, because if you don't, then this happens. Um, and this is where transactions will really save you when you go, oh my god, five rows updated, oops, roll back. <laughs> Now that I've faffed with the data, um, let's delete some of it. So there are two ways that we can delete data from a table, and these are using the delete or the truncate commands. So the main differences between these are that delete is done row by row um, with row locking so that you can add a where clause to it. And it writes the transaction log, and so it is slightly slower than truncate. Um, truncate will clear the table as a whole, uh, which requires a table lock, um, so you cannot add a WHERE clause to it, um, and it will also reseed the identity column at the same time. So I will show you these in use. So here I've just written um, delete from the table name there that I want to delete, and again I'm making sure to specify where ID equals to, so the one that I want to delete from. So if I run that, 
we can see here that that has now gone. And in the same way as update, if I don't specify the where clause, we can see here now that that will affect the whole table. And we've now got no records in there. So if I just run these again now, we can see that the ID um, column has started incrementing from 6 instead of from 1. And if I now use the truncate statement, we can see there it's empty again. And if I insert these, we can see there that it's reseeded from 1. Now it just starts afresh from there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's insert, update, delete and truncate. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, feel free to add any comments below. And the next tutorial in this series, we will cover transactions so that you can save yourself from deleting the whole table by accident. Um, thank you for watching.